good morning dear students today again we will solve some questions from the worksheet i think in the previous video we have completed with the question number 13 okay so today we will learn the question number 14 from the worksheet okay the question is the parallel sides of the trapezium are in the ratio 3 is to 4 if the distance between the parallel lines or we can say parallel sides is 9 dm and its area is 126 dm square find the length of its parallel sides okay so this is we want to find out the length of the parallel sides the given information of the question is parallel sides of trapezium are in the ratio 3 is to 4 we are solving the 14th question the parallel sides of trapezium are in ratio 3 is to 4 this is the first information given to us the second given information is distance between the parallel sides that means distance between the parallel sides means height is given to us which is 9 dm and also the area of trapezium area of the trapezium is given to us which is 126 dm square okay this is the question now the sides parallel sides are in the ratio 3 is to 4 so whenever the ratio question is there always the first statement is let the common multiple b x therefore the two sides two parallel sides are a 3x and the b is 4x okay a is 3x and b is 4x see this is the trapezium in the question it is 3x this is 4x distance between the parallel line is 9 dm and also the area of trapezium is given to us 126 dm square now since we know the area area of trapezium the formula is half sum of the parallel sides multiplied by height this is the formula to find out the area of trapezium it means half sum of the parallel sides multiplied by height correct so we substituted the formulas now put up the values area of the trapezium is 126 so here we put up 126 1 upon 2 a value of the a is from here we can take 3x and 4x a and b the same thing 3x plus 4x and the height is 9 okay <coughs> height is 9 now 2 is in the multiply going that side goes for means this 2 is in the division here going that side goes for multiplication and this 9 9 is in the multiply going that side goes for division so here we can write 126 multiplied by 2 upon 9 which is equals to 3x plus 4x so 3x plus 4x will be 7x got it then Cancellation can be here. Nine one zero nine. 
here 9 ones are 9 9 fours are 26 means 14 nines are 126 so it is 14 multiplied by 2 7 is in the multiplication shifting this side will become division got it 7 ones are 7 7 twos are 14 that means the value of the x 2 multiplied by 2 value of the x is 2 multiplied by 2 means 4 units this is the value of x now further we want to calculate the measurement of the parallel sides that means we want to calculate the value of a and value of p so here we are calculating a means 3x that is 3 into 4 12 dm okay 3 fourths are 12 dm and next 4x means 4 into 4 that is 16 dm these are the length of the size dm is that understood everyone please note it down in your notebooks The next question that we are solving is question number 15. Question number 15 from the worksheet. Okay. The 15th question. Question is a parallelogram has sides 20 centimeter and 30 centimeter. Okay. So let us draw the diagram for it. There is a parallelogram. In which, suppose name of the parallelogram is ABCD. Okay. Now what that given us? Sides 20 centimeter and 30 centimeter. So 20 centimeter and 30 centimeter. If this is 20, we can say that this is also 20 centimeter. If this is 30, we can say that it is also 30 centimeter. Since it is a parallelogram, opposite sides will be equal. Okay. Now further, what that given us? Distance between the shorter sides is 15 centimeter. Distance between the shorter sides. These are the shorter sides because these are 20 centimeter and this is 30. So these are the shorter sides. The distance between the shorter sides is how much? 15 centimeter. Length of this DP is 15 centimeter. Then our question is find out the distance between the longer sides. So we want to calculate the distance between the longer sides. So this distance we want to calculate. PQ. Suppose this distance. DQ distance we want to calculate. Okay. <clears throat> now, students, it is a very simple question. See, we know the area of parallelogram form. Area of parallelogram. The formula is base multiplied by height. Okay. Now. If we consider the shorter side as a base, means if AB is the base, the height will be DP. So here we can write AB multiplied by DP. So value of the AB is how much? 20. And value of the DP is 15. So it becomes 300 centimeter square. 
Okay. Area of the parallelogram is base into height that is AB into DP to AB into 15 that is 300 centimeters square. Okay. Then suppose if we consider this BC as the base means longer side as the base 30 centimeter is the base then the height will be DQ that we want to calculate is if this is the base dq will be the height okay so once again the same formula we can apply here area of parallelogram is base into height okay base into height since we know the area of parallelogram area of the parallelogram is 300 Base, this time base is BC. Longer side will be the base. And the height is BQ. Right? So BC is of 30 cm. And we want to calculate the length of DQ. 30 is in the multiplication. Going that side goes for division so 300 divided by 30 will be the value of dq therefore we can say that the dq will be of 10 centimeter got it dq will be of 10 centimeter is that clear to everyone so that means the distance between the longer sides is of 10 centimeter here we can write the final answer. The distance between longer sides is of 10 cm. Okay. So that is the final answer. <coughs> Please note it down in your notebooks also. Next, next is question number sixteen. We are solving the question number 16. The question is the adjacent sides of the parallelogram. Again, question is related with the parallelogram. In this question, it is given that Adjacent sides of the parallelogram are 21 centimeter and 28 centimeter. Also, the length of the diagonal is given in the question it is 35 centimeter. Okay. Now we want to find out the area of the whole parallelogram. So, if this is 21 centimeter, we can say that this is 21 centimeter. If this is 28 centimeter, we can say that the opposite side is also of 28 centimeter because in the parallelogram, opposite sides are equal. Got it? Now, I hope all of you understand that how to calculate this area. In the given figure, all the four sides are known to us and diagonal are also given to us. One of the diagonal is given to us. So, 
So see what we should do in this case. First, let us take the area of triangle ABC. We can find out the area of triangle ABC because all the three sides of the triangle is known to us. In triangle ABC, value of the first side is 28 centimeter, value of the second side is 21 centimeter, and value of the third side is 35 centimeter. That means all the three sides of the triangle ABC is known to us. And if we think about the another triangle, both of the triangles have the same same side. Length of the sides are same. So what is the procedure in here? First, we will find out the area of triangle ABC. Whatever the area of triangle ABC will come here, multiply it by two so that we can get the area of parallelogram ABCD. Because these two triangles are equal in area. No need to calculate two times the same area. Okay. So here, if three sides are known to us, we can apply the Heron's formula. That is. First, we will calculate the semi perimeter, which is 28 plus 21 plus 35 divided by 2. So, semi perimeter will be semi perimeter will be 84 by 2, which is 42 centimeter. Okay, this is the semi perimeter. Now let us find out the area of triangle ABC by applying the Heron's formula, right? Area of triangle ABC. The formula is S, S minus A, S minus B and S minus C. These are the formula. So here value of the S, value of the S is 42. So it becomes 42 minus A means 42 minus 28. Next, 42 minus B and third, 42 minus third set that is 35. Got it? First, solve the bracket. 42 will remain same. 42 minus 28. 42 minus 28 is 40 42 minus 21 is 21 and 42 minus 25 35 is 7 okay find out the prime factors of each number to find out the square root of the same 42 7 6 is a correct 2 3 is a 6 6 7 is a 42 14 7, 2 is a 40, right? 21, 3, 7 is a 21. And this last 7. Clear? Now, make a pair of the numbers for finding the square root. 2, 2 is here. Also 3, 3 is there. 7, 1 pair. 7, second pair. Okay? So, multiplication of all this will give us 294, 294 centimeter square is the area of first triangle, area of the triangle ABC. Now, if we make it two times, then we get the area of the whole parallelogram because these two triangles are equal in area because they contain the same length of the sides. Okay. Now let us find out the area of parallelogram A, B, C, D. The formula is 2 multiplied by area of triangle A, B, C. It means 2 multiplied by 294. And 2 multiplied by 294 will give us 588. 588 centimeter square. Okay. 
so this is the area of the parallelogram a b c d is that clear to everyone okay next questions we will do in the next session so for today we will stop here thank you everyone bye bye take care